Tommy, Danielle, what is something that you would advise people about dreams um, that they should know? What is some, like one big thing that they need to know? Just off the top of your head. If you uh, were to tell somebody, this is what you need to know. <laughs> uh, I, I would say that um, dream symbols are always changing. They're not set in stone. Um, and especially when it comes to dream books, um, again, every writer usually tells you um, that these are like, it's just um, a manual. It's not really like, you know, the word of God. So dream symbols tend to change frequently all the time. So nothing is ever set in stone. So we can get caught up in wrong interpretation because we're uh, relating a card to always ministry and oh, it may yeah. not be ministry. So that's good. Yeah. Okay. Danielle. And uh uh, I'd probably say that sometimes they can be layered. Like it can look like it means one thing, but then later on you can look at it again and go, oh, it actually means something different. Like, so there's a dimension where they could sort of change and there's layers within them. Sometimes they're simple. Sometimes it's, if you're looking at it from different angles, it could mean a couple of different things. Okay. So, Danielle, if you were to have a dream about coffee, what would that, what would that be about? <laughs> Danielle loves her coffee. <laughs> uh, could be a few things. Could mean I, it's a wake up call. Could mean I need to be delivered from a spirit of addiction. <laughs> it, could, it could mean a few different things.